Bakit ka naman na-expel? Huli kasi ako nagra-rugby kasama mga kaibigan ko. Pinagsisihan mo ba? Kasi syempre, importante ang inokasyon, di ba? Minsan, pero di ko na iniisip yun. Nadagdag pa sa problema eh. Ano pangalan mo? Ilang taon ka na? Ilan ka yung magkakapatid? Tatay. Maria. Eto. Ted. Oo. Hindi ka nakakapag-aral. Eh kasi tayo ito. Ano? Masura yun. Pero gusto mo pa makapag-aral din? Here in Barangay Bacchus, we will witness how some of our fellow young Filipinos try just to attain their education. Ako po si Merita Gonzalez. Sampun po ang gulang. Nagbibenta po ako ng dyaryo pagdating ng alas 4 ng umaga. Tapos po, idiretsyo na po ako sa eskwelahan. Mayor, excuse me. Can you talk to you for a second? Mayor, are you aware of the condition of your community? About the numerous out-of-school youth? Of course, numerous voters in the during the elections are mostly in poverty and they vote their leaders in hopes that they will get out of poverty. Actually, there are numerous projects that was made for the people in poverty. Like, the people, the people who are out of school, they actually turn to drugs and, and we are aware of that. We made a re rehabilitation center for them and a, a, a percentage of the people admit themselves to the rehabilitation center. But we can't help you if you don't surrender yourself to us because we, we are not obliged to force you to do what you do not want to do. Thank, Thank you, Mayor. Mayor. Thank you for your time. Uh, I used to play in this place when I was a kid. These children will have their their own family at 14 years old. They have their own babies. Some of them will be involved in gangs, violence, and drugs. Some of them might be dead right now. Well, Efren was born poor, and he believed that the only thing that can get him out of there is to be educated. I don't have resources, I don't have money, but what I only have is the education that I've learned in this place. It really sudden us when, when we see children who can't go to school because of poverty. So instead of them going to the school, we bring the school here, so through the push cart. Right now we have four carts. We have a play center, literacy classes station, a clinic, and also a computer lab. What we're doing here is to at least help them realize the, the value of education and that learning is fun. Pangarap po rin po magkaroon po ng trabaho para po matulungan ko po pamilya. Yung mga bagay na mali, natututunan ko po tulad ng pagnanakaw, pagra-rugby. Nakikita ko po kasi sarili ko dati sa mga bata po na pag-alagala lang. Hindi ganun kaganda yung buhay. Kapag darating pa yung karit ng classroom, tas nakikita ko pa yung mga bata nagtatakpuhan. Natutuwa po ako kasi madadagdagan po yung mga bata ang matuturuan po ni Kaya. Our dream with Dynamic Teen Company is to have a big space for for play center, a big space for, for library, reading, and, and rooms for literacy classes. They are the heroes here. I want to give all the credits is, is for them. So as long as there are children who are deprived, who are less fortunate, the Cariton will still pushing. Out of school youth is now one of the social issues that 
contribute greatly to the fall down of our future. And the main reason for these issues are Even us children can do something about it. There are tons of youth organizations that offer help. And we can always depend on the adults or government to help them though. This is why us, young reporters, decided to talk about this topic. Because we know that you can help too, even by just praying. This is Maya Pialago and Anna Tan, empowering, empowering youth, transforming lives, and making a difference. Good morning and thank you.